So again, uh, this is the Alameda Street Street and Drainage Improvements Community Meeting. Um, my name is Justin Mailer. I'm a senior professional engineer with the city of Fort Worth. Um, also on this call, and I'm, I've been the project manager on this project so far. Um, also on this call, uh, do we have council member, uh, do we have council member Bird or a representative from his office on the call? I'm not seeing. Jeff, did you yeah, I don't see him. I don't see him, Justin. Yeah, okay. I don't see him on. Okay. Um, also on this, uh, also on this call, we have uh, Michael Crenshaw, who's been one uh, one of the project engineers, and Michael Wellbaum, both who are uh, uh, contractors working for the City of Fort Worth. Uh, Michael Wellbaum will be taking over the project management uh, as, as it moves into design and into construction. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Freeza Nichols representative here. Uh, they've been helping the city with doing project development and we have uh, a, a representative with Hera Coker Smith who will be uh, taking on the project once it goes into design and construction. Uh, as you can see there, we have a project website and we will be posting updates to that project website uh, periodically as the project moves forward. Uh, here's an image of what the, here's an image of the uh, website as it stands today. So this project is being brought to you through the Transportation and Public Works Department, specifically the Capital Delivery Division, uh, Capital Project Delivery Division. Uh, this is part of our hazardous roadway overtopping mitigation program, otherwise known as the HROM. Uh, because we're a government entity, we have to have lots of acronyms for everything. Uh, so we're going to use the word ACROM today. Uh, and we've been doing project development on this. Uh, the, the theory behind, behind our project development is that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. The idea is we're trying to develop these projects so that we have a good handle of, of, of what, the, what the true source of the problem is, uh, that it's coordinated with city goals and that it's coordinated with other plans, such as a master thoroughfare plan or like an active transportation plan, uh, that we understand what the condition is with, of existing utilities. And that would be water, sewer, communications, uh, electric, and, and even gas, and, and uh, you know, liquid propane, that kind of thing. And then uh, we want to make sure that we have a good handle on what kind of permits the city is going to be required, both uh, to satisfy federal agencies as well as to satisfy city permits. And then we also want to make sure that we have a good handle on all the other constraints of the site. And so that's what project development is. We want to do that just so that we can have a good scope and a good uh, schedule and a good cost estimate identified as, as we move into design. So this project in, in particular, this project was selected because Alameda, Alameda Street uh, ranks highly as far as the amount of water that is in, that's anticipated to cross over Alameda Street from this tributary, uh, the combination of the depth and the velocity of that crossing makes it a very hazardous crossing, which creates uh, the potential for life safety issues. And so that's that's how this project uh, wound up wound up on the HROM uh, project list. And as you can see in the image on the right. It's been identified in the master thoroughfare plan for realignment uh, to align Alameda Street south of Camp Bowie with Alameda Street north of Camp Bowie. So I'm going to go through a few slides here that are going to be kind of a rough sequencing of what the project might look like. Um, what you see here today is existing Alameda Road or Alameda Street. Uh, under, underneath where that blue line is, where it crosses Alameda Street, uh, there's an existing uh, two six by five box culverts. And, and that's a very fairly small box culvert given the area that's getting, that's draining to it. So one of the first things that's gonna take place is most likely that the, the new culverts will be constructed. These new culverts uh, consist of six nine by sixes, uh, which is significantly larger in area than the existing uh, two six by five. And, and these culverts will be located in keeping with the new Alameda alignment. And next, the, the paving will be put in as uh, the construct Alameda Street out of concrete paving. It's approximately a thousand feet or so south of Camp Bowie is kind of the limits of our project here. 
as, as you can see, uh, new drivers may be put in whatever, where they've been affected. Uh, access is, is always something that uh, we and our contractors uh, strive to maintain to the best of our ability. There will be times when there will be intermittent um, blocking of driveways, uh, but, but we will certainly be coordinating that as we move along uh, through both design and construction. Uh, with this street section, we'll also be installing sidewalks uh, up and down Alameda Street, and we'll be installing curb pedestrian ramps at the intersection. And then we'll also be making adjustments to the medians in Camp Bowie to uh, account for the newly uh, realigned intersection. Now, this is going to result in a little bit more, a little bit safer intersection by not having the offset turns, or at least not having them offset so closely. And then finally, we'll uh, we'll be removing the old Alameda pavement uh, and, and getting the project restored and ready to uh, ready to move on. So some of the details and, and the benefits. Again, the, the main driver of this project is to present uh, is for overtopping safety. We want to reduce the Alameda Street Roadway overtopping likely, likelihood. Uh, this is all another benefit is going to be the intersection safety as well as allowing for a potential future signal to be installed at at Alameda and Camp Bowie should uh, warrants be met to, to install one. Uh, it's going to be an improved drive going from, from the current asphalt to uh, concrete paving. And then it's going to be a roadway capacity improvement. There will be uh, one lane in each direction and a center turn lane. So as far as the schedule goes, our anticipated milestones uh, we anticipate to start design uh, here in the next few months, and then we anticipate completing design in the summer of 21, bid and award by the fall of 21. Uh, construction start in the winter of 2021 slash 22, and then construction complete approximately a year later. But these are these are our rough milestones that we're anticipating at this point. Uh, funding, the, the project is estimated at about $4.1 million, and it is a, it is a bond funded project. And with that, we'll go ahead and start moving into questions. Uh, Michael Crenshaw, would you mind go ahead and start reading reading through our questions, please? Sure. Thank you, Justin. We we did have a few questions um, come in, and I want to encourage everyone: if you're on and you have a question, you can type it in the chat window to everyone, and we'll see those. We, uh, um, well, like I said, we have a few, so. We'll go ahead and start on those. One of the first ones was a question about the actual start of construction or turning dirt. And, and I think that was just on your last slide, Justin. Yeah, so I'll back it up just to, here on this slide. So again, what we're anticipating at this point is for construction to start uh, in the winter of 2021 such 2022. So we're thinking, you know, November, December, uh, January, February of next year is, is what we're currently anticipating. All right, thank you, Justin. If you, next one has to do with the intersection of Camp Bowie and Alameda. If you want to think that was on the slide before this one that showed the completion. Um, and the question is about if you anticipate the need for a closure of that intersection at Alameda or I guess the, the turning ability there. And I I'm thinking that relates to how long the existing road would be in left in place while the new is being constructed. But uh, so the question is, will they have to close or do you anticipate having to close that Camp Bowie Alameda intersection, Justin? I, I think that there may be a way for them to construct it without closing uh, the intersection, but I'm not going to say that for sure. Uh, one of the things that our uh, design consultant will be looking at as they move through uh, to 30, 60, 90 percent designs is the is how the phasing is going to work. And then, of course, the contractor is always going to have, have ideas on how to do it as well. And so that'll be something that we'll be closely monitoring. Uh, we, we don't want to uh, completely close the section of road unless it's just absolutely a necessity. Uh, but, but that's some, certainly something that we'll be looking at closely to, to keep as much access as possible. All right, thank you. Uh, next question has to do with existing water and sewer. Um, do you anticipate any extension or construction of the water and sewer uh, down Alameda or at the uh, to the end of Alameda where it heads down to Chapin Road? 
Uh, not with this project. I believe that water and sewer is, has been extended through the limits of this project already. Uh, so we are not anticipating any further extensions with this project. So it, it's certainly in the realm of possibilities as development comes in uh, that the water and sewer could be extended that way. Okay. If, if now, if, if I, I will say, if I'm rem if I'm remembering incorrectly, uh, you know, someone on our team, please chime in. Okay. Well, and maybe as uh, Michael Wellbaum and the design consultant uh, begin in the next, so there will be another meeting at the sixty percent phase, I believe, uh, of the design. So. Uh, let's see, there was one more question, and, and I think this was on one of your slides as well, and we may put up that information before we get done here. And yeah, that's on the contact information for the project manager during the project. <laughs> I, I apologize for that. Um, I, I fairly recently onboarded with the city, and uh, honestly, I've I, I, put down my desk number and I forgot to forward it to uh, to the correct phone number and I forgot to put down I did not put down the correct number uh, the phone number shown on this on the screen you can we'll, uh, let you get a hold of me um, but then like I said before after after we're done with this this phase this project development phase Michael Wellbaum will be taking over and I believe he just put his information in the chat window Okay, I think that was uh, the, most of the questions that we had in the in the um, chat window, and we don't have any. Sometimes we have people call in on the phone, and so it just appears as a phone number. So we like to go through that if there's any questions. But certainly at this time, if if we if there's someone who has a question or comment, we can unmute uh, one at a time, just for because they're everybody talking over each other it gets kind of crowded but if there is somebody that has a question or a comment again this is early days so this is the project development phase so it's about to be handed over um, Michael Wellbaum will be the, the manager on the city side um, and then uh, HKS will be working from the civil design standpoint of the roadway and there will be, of course, future meetings, so you'll be hearing more about this. There will also be the website that will keep the citizens updated. Um, the city did roll out the new website just this week. If you hadn't been to it, you might want to look there. And there is a page exp uh, explicitly for this project, and it's on the screen there in front of you. But you can also just get to it from the city um, website as well. And if there is there any other questions or comments, I know I spoke with you, Gary, earlier in the day, and we talked on the phone. And but there's a few others I think that are in the neighborhood. And if you have any questions or comments, we can take those as well. Hey, Mike. This is Scott Shear with Harris Coker Smith. Uh, I joined a little late and just wanted to let y'all know I'm here. I'm sorry I missed uh, missed the uh, uh, notification on my phone. It did not happen, and I apologize. But uh, if there were any questions that were addressed to me before that I didn't answer, um, <laughs> I can I could answer them now. Okay, I think we had uh, just some things that may be about. Uh, Closing the intersection at Camp Boo and Alameda. Some of those things that will transitions of traffic control when you get into design and things like that will will probably be worked out as you get into your design uh, with yes. Michael Wellbaum there. And uh, so I'm sure the next meeting will have a little more engineering -y type stuff to it, details. Um, 
and of course this same group and if there's someone we left out that you know i know gary you had forwarded this to some folks that were doing construction work there on the amazon site um, if there's some folks that we need to add to our mailing list for the next one uh, please let us know and you can email that or uh, to justin or to michael wellbaum we'll get them on the list for the next mailing uh, for the next meeting and um, there were a few questions about timing and scheduling. Scott, I think that was was touched on. Um, and then water and sewer. So uh, those will become clearer and more obvious, I think, as the project moves uh, to the 60%. You actually have some design plans in hand. Absolutely. All right, I don't see any other questions uh, coming in or no one's raised their hand. And again, you've got uh, Justin's contact information and it's it's the, the updated, corrected information there. So you can feel free to email or call him. And then of course, Michael Wellbaum will, will, will pick it up as well and his his contact email and phone was put into the chat window if you want to jot that down as well and he's available to answer any questions going forward and if you Michael, i'm going to go ahead and read out his contact information just yeah. in case somebody okay. is watching it later and can't uh, his phone number is 817-832-0746 and the email address is similar to what's on the screen it's michael.wellbaum at Fort Worth, Texas .gov. And that's all spelled out, Fort Worth, Texas. So this is Gary Hazer. Yes. Would, could you send me those contacts? Yes, I was going to put that in an email uh, to okay. you that I'm still working on, Gary. A couple of things came up, so I know I owe you an email, and I'll put those contacts okay. in an email and send that's that to you. No rush. Just didn't want you to forget me. No, I'm not. We'll get it okay. to you. All right. I think uh, that, that covered all of uh, the items we had to discuss this evening. Um, does anyone else have any questions or comments before we no rush we have we have a few minutes here but if anybody has anything they can chime in if if not we can wrap up as well just want to say thank you for keeping us informed with um when doing helpful Diddy's doing a great job well thank you we're we're there will be a couple more couple more contacts, like I said, and things become clear. This is early days, and so when the uh, Michael Wellbaum and, and the HKS team get rolling on design, there will be more details to, to look at. And, of course, uh, if anyone has any input along the way, uh, please send emails and, and, uh, and phone calls. Let us know. And I'll get that confirmation contact information to you, Gary, as well, in an email. Okay, well, we've got several people to thank. Of course, uh, uh, the Freeze and Nichols team has been the project development on this up to this point, and Matt's here, and and uh, his the team there at Freeze uh, did, and Justin Oswald as well. Thank you guys for, for everything. And of course, Justin and I um, working on this and Linda Young is leading the charge and she's on the call as well. So it's been great to get it to this point and great to hand it off to Michael Wellbaum and the design side as well and they'll move it forward. And if any of the uh, anyone needs anything from us, you've got our contact and email information. And 
If not, then we will go ahead and conclude the meeting this evening, I think. Justin? No, again, thank you all for all coming. Thank you for being interested in your city and, and in your neighborhood. Uh, we appreciate y'all's you know, participation and your input. And certainly, if you, if you have anything, reach out to me uh, or, or Michael Wellbaum moving forward. Uh, if you reach out to me, that's fine. I'm, I'm certainly happy to help. Um, but again, thank you all uh, so much for your time and, and thank you for, for your, uh, your input.